time has finally come. Tonight, we look at MP5, Megatron. The first masterpiece Megatron, 2007. Shots of the box. And we'll open him up. I will do my best to transform him. And I'll show you some of the issues. Uh, thankfully, mine is not too bad. Um, here we go. All right, here is MP5 Megatron out of the box. If you couldn't tell... He is really panelly. He's he's uh he's pretty flimsy. He he's got a lot of like weird kibble on him. He's got the spindly spindly legs. Uh this the the head is is pretty pretty much garbage. Uh this a lot of times will just fall down. You have to kind of uh pull it up enough to get it to show his eyebrows but the, the the scale of everything is really strange um now one of the known issues for this figure other than it being a spindly junky mess is the feet so the feet yeah lovingly referred to as foot rot over time especially if they're displayed from what i understand uh this gets way worse so mine is discolored. Uh, this, this, like it's, you saw, I have the box. It's been in the box forever. I think it's only been pulled out a few times ever in its life. Um, and the feet, uh, the tarnish is pretty bad. There's ways to fix it. You can see every fingerprint that's ever touched them. They do get to the point where they start to bubble and crack and peel away. Um, so that is what I refer to if you've ever heard me talk about mp5's foot rot that is what that looks like that's or like and mine's actually really good getting him to to stand with this giant cannon uh is a little difficult uh as you can tell the cannon is uh ridiculously oversized it also doesn't do anything so you would think it would have lights or something. It doesn't. Um, this version. Well, I guess all of the MP5s. Uh, they don't come with the parts for the extended barrel or the uh, stock. They just come with what you see here and some accessories. The accessories you get is, which I actually really like, is you get this Energon flail, uh, which is... Uh, discolored here. Again, just age. But mine's intact. You get the Energon Sword. Energy Sword, Energon Sword, whatever. Uh, and this, the effect does come off. You get... I'm sorry, I keep reaching across the camera. This is kind of a weird setup being pulled back this far. Uh... The infamous gun he killed Optimus Prime with. Which is really nice. It's painted really well. It even has the, the molding for the trigger. Sorry, focus. Uh, and then you get a Klimzeek. If I'm saying that right, you get a teeny tiny little Klimzeek. Uh, it is not the same one that comes with the uh, refractor set that we got with Siege. Uh, if you bought this, the has Repulse Edition one that comes in the really nice box, the three pack, it comes with a Klimzeek, but it's different. And uh, maybe I'll grab that and show it to you uh, after we. I'm not going to do this on camera. The reason I'm not going to do this on camera is my display base is this box. And these instructions. Are really nice, but they're not great. 
and there are lots of tiny, tiny, tiny little things that you have to do. And I will be honest, I have never transformed this. I am terrified of this toy. Then I'm going to break it. Uh, you see here, it says there's a light. So, take this off. Oh, wait, there's a light. I just hit the button. I didn't think it worked. Ugh, come off. Slides down, which is also dumb. Uh, yeah, there is a light. So, if you can see inside here, I was wrong. There is a light, and it still works. And I'm betting the batteries in this thing are disgusting because this thing is from 2007. So, it does actually have light. Again, no stand for this or anything like that. Um, I believe a third-party company made one, but I've never been able to find one. So I'm going to try to transform this to show you gun mode. This is probably going to take me a while. I'm not going to make you watch this. Oh, boy, I should have timed that. I didn't, but that was probably a half an hour. A um, couple of things I realized is... Uh, I am fairly certain that is the first time this thing has ever been transformed in its entire life. Just looking at some of the wear marks on the inside. Um, no one has ever transformed that figure. Now, you're not seeing my hands in the picture because I'm going to get to a point. Uh, you'll notice this does not have an orange tip. There's a reason for that. The reason for that being this gun mode is so humorously large... I can barely, I don't have giant hands, but I kind of have bear paws, and I can barely pull that trigger. It is gigantic. I'm not putting it next to a real gun, YouTube. But, uh, yeah, there's a couple of cool things about it, so uh, it's serialized. <laughs> Uh, it has a safety. You can't cock it, but it has a safety. God, I can't, I'm trying to, if I'm screwing this up, sorry, here, it's got a safety. Uh, you can pull the trigger. Um, you're not going to fool anyone, and a child couldn't hold this thing. Uh, getting it transformed is, um... Oops, sorry. Uh, is about a nightmare. It is cool looking. I wish I had the add-on kit. If I had the add-on kit that puts the barrel extension on it, this thing would look awesome and I'd probably hang it on the wall. Uh, if I could get some of the panels. Like, I've been messing with these panels for the last 15 minutes and I cannot get all these panels to line up right. Uh, these pieces, when they peg together, they peg together with these two probably four millimeter pegs that are round and um, that's how I can tell it's never been transformed. They had no wear marks on them but I can't get them pegged together. The, the legs which becomes all of this is um, still better than Rhinox because I hate Rhinox. The Decepticon logo on the side looks really really good. Um, it looks like metal. I'm not gonna lie. It's the way that it's molded. It kind of it has this metal look to it. It's heavy. Uh, there is a lot of die cast in it. I did notice uh, when I was transforming it that that die cast also has the same problem as the feet, where the feet are kind of corroded and stuff. So is the die cast everywhere else. Everything that's chromed is corroded. Not as bad as the feet, but you can still tell. Uh, thankfully, nothing broke. Um, So there, there's Megatron in gun mode. Um, I'm going to go put him back into robot mode to show off a few things. I just wanted to get this part out of the way in case I snapped him. All right, let's look at the articulation. So he's got limited up and down in the shoulders. They are on a ball joint. I mean, they're on a ratchet. He's got a double elbow, but you're not going very far with it. It does rotate here. Uh, his hands do rotate. Uh, the first knuckle on every finger moves, but that's it. Thumb is on a ball joint. Ah! Same for the other side. Again, everything is hindered by this being on here. I'm just actually going to have to take this off because it adds so much weight. There we go. He's actually not that heavy when you take that off. Um, the head is on a 
it's on a ball joint, but it's not, again, it's not going anywhere. Uh, he has no waist articulation. Uh, other than when you pick him up, sometimes it unpegs. Uh, he does have ratchets in the legs. Uh, technically a double elbow due to, due to transformation. And the uh, feet are actually on ball joints. So our articulation's not that bad. It's just uh, he's really lopsided weight-wise because of the, the uh, arm cannon. And he's, I mean, he's a fiddly mess. Look at this. You know, these things, you know, they articulate. Th these, I guess, articulate if you can find a decent way to put them so they don't look like garbage hanging off of him. Uh, there's a, I mean, it's, it's kibbly. It's super kibbly. There's, I mean, there's a lot of detail though. Like, they didn't have to do this. That's really cool. You can see some of the, the tarnish on the chrome though. It pretty, gets pretty bad. Um, this comes apart a lot. Uh, the legs aren't bad. But they're also super gangly. There's a lot of detail in them, but they're super gangly. And uh, that head is... Uh, that's just, that's just kind of awful. But I will say, I've been terrified to transform this thing. And um, like I said before, I'm pretty sure no one's ever transformed him. He does scare me, still. Um, if I ever find the third-party kit that adds everything to him, I might get it and then display him in um, gun mode. But again, that, that thing scares me. There's a gun. Uh, if you flip his hands away, which is... Easier said than done with these joints getting in the way. And this, there's a little groove right there, and it clips on there. Oh, it's not gonna work on this side. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Show you what that looks like if you do it on his left hand, then. Well, now I'm all kinds of confused. Because the instructions all right the instructions actually do show it on this side but oh there we go Jesus so you put that inside there clip that to there And there you go. That's how that works. Yeah, so much of this thing is confusing and and not very intuitive. Yeah, I know his hand's still in there. I'll fix it when I put him back in his box. Um so let me grab a couple things for comparison. First, we will grab oversized MPP-10 Optimus Prime. And then uh, also have... Uh, that's a KO of Masterpiece Soundwave that I need to review later. Uh, for people who don't have those figures. Yeah. Kingdom Tracks. Kingdom Cyclonus. And, uh, let's see, for... Your shits and giggles. Put Bumblebee on his shoulder. Oh, 
There you go. Scale. Thing of beauty. So if I really had to give this thing like a... I'm not going to give it a rating, but if I had to say whether it was worth it to buy, I would say if you can find one decently priced. Now the trick is, this is a figure from 2007 that has its own issues. So if you're going to buy one of these things on eBay, know that you may or may not be getting a good KO. I'm fairly, fairly certain that this actually is an original, but I haven't investigated enough to look into see if it's a KO. I obviously don't really give a shit. Um, if you do find one, though, I highly recommend you make sure... If the price is decent, don't discount that. You see how bad it is. So it may carry a low price point just based on that and somebody just not liking the figure. It also might come with a low, low price point because this is all gray plastic. And silver. And tar um, metal that's tarnishing and it could have a myriad of issues. The transformation is super clunky and panelly and not intuitive and there's lots of clicking and ratcheting and snapping and um, if I didn't have certain things like um, using this as kind of a little pry thing between parts, I probably would have broken some pins off. Um, but if you really just want the nostalgia of having the first masterpiece um, Megatron, sure. If you want a good figure, no, don't buy this. If you find one, sure. Flea market, swap meet, if you can even find them anymore, this is from 2007. So, I guess that's it for tonight. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, still got the t-shirts printing out, uh, if anybody wants any. Uh, the link is below, uh, if I see you at TFCon wearing one of my shirts. I do have special edition rollers that I'm going to be giving out uh, just for free. If I see you in a shirt, I'm just going to walk up and hand you a roller. If you want to say hi, cool. Uh, if not, cool. It's just my kind of little way of, of giving back, but also trying to, uh, you know, maybe get a little bit of support for what I do. Uh, any of the money from the t-shirts is going to go to the artist who actually designed the logo being uh, my daughter. So thank you, everybody. Good night.